Dr. House, we've had baby fever for a while. Our daughter is expecting her first child, and uh, we've been very thrilled for both she and her husband uh, over this joyous event. And of course, we're excited. Uh, this will be grandchild number two. And of course, one of the things that is always exciting with the birth of a new baby is what is going to be the name of that boy or that girl? And is there meaning behind the name? How has that name been chosen? So my name is uh, based on both of my grandfathers, Carl being my paternal grandfather. I never met him. He passed away three years before I was born. He was a career military pilot flew in World War II, flew in Korea, uh, was an Air Force commander in the Strategic Air Command. And my other grandfather, Sterling, which is my middle name, uh, was also a uh, bomber pilot in World War II, also flew in Korea, and uh, then worked for a, a stationary company. For most of his life, I did have the opportunity to spend a lot of time with him uh, throughout my life. And then, of course, over the years, uh, I got to know what my name meant. Uh, this sign is hung in my office for many years. Strong, manly, uh, my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, Ephesians 6.10. Now, here's the reason I bring all this up, is we have a decision to make what kind of name we're going to create for ourselves. You know, we don't get to choose what our parents named us. And sometimes they name us well, and uh, sometimes they don't name us well. Uh, the truth is, often what they name us becomes very much a prophetic word over our life. And so it's up to us to determine how true we're going to be to that word, or if we need to take a different path from what that is. Uh, you find in, in the Bible, there's a, a famous uh, little prayer. Uh, in fact, a book was written on it a few years ago from uh, the book of First Chronicles, and it's the prayer of Jabez. And uh, Jabez was named Jabez, a name meaning pain, and because his name meant pain, he prayed that the Lord would bless him indeed, and that he would prosper him and expand his territory. And God honored his prayer. That's what we know of Jabez's life. So he had been given a name that was a name of pain. It was a name uh, that was not going to be a good outcome. But he sought God's favor to change the meaning and the direction of his life. And that's really where I want to go. You know, whether you've been given a, a good name or a bad name, you have the opportunity to determine what your name stands for. And one of the things that I am extremely proud of with my name, even though I did not meet the man, I know a lot about my grandfather, Carl, and I am extremely proud of what I know about him. I am very honored to carry his name. Uh, highly decorated uh, war veteran. Um, I've read of some of his missions that he had to fly during World War II, where many of those who left with him did not return. Um, I know that he ended his career in a very uh, difficult crash landing. Uh, broke his back, uh, basically ended his flying career, and uh, due to some complications, really cut his life short, which is why I didn't have the opportunity to meet him. Uh, but because of him, my dad had a love of flying. My dad had a love of travel. Uh, those are things that are ingrained in me. Those of you that know me know that uh, I have had the opportunity to be on many airplanes and see many parts of the world. And so I have been able to live out uh, that namesake and uh, many of the things I've been able to do in life and uh, partake in, I think fit my namesake uh, very much. 
But the second part of that is as I get older, obviously, I think about what is my name going to mean to those who come behind me? Uh, what will be their reflections? And I, I want you to kind of think about it this way. You know, uh, in the Bible, there are certain people that if we mention their name, uh, we go, uh, that story didn't end so well. Judas would be one of those, you know, uh, Pharaoh, Saul. Uh, yeah, that, that story didn't necessarily have the best outcome. The legacy wasn't quite what we might have wanted it to be. And so that's the thing that I want you to consider is, is what kind of name are you leaving? You know, my dad passed away 12 years ago. And uh, the one conversation that has stuck with me more than any other conversation I had with him during his lifetime was this. He said, Carl, when I die, um, I will probably not leave you much in the way of worldly wealth, but I will leave you a good name. And you know, the thing that uh, I can say is that when his life was over and I sorted out his affairs and I went through every file on his computer and I went through every drawer in his desk and I went through every page of the journals he had written there was nothing that would have caused anyone to question his character. When I met those who knew him, the thing that they all alluded to, the thing that every one of them referenced was his character was consistent no matter what the circumstance. He didn't change just because the circumstance changed. He didn't change just because it would have benefited him. His integrity always stood firm. And so, you know, that was the promise he made, and that's a promise that I have made to my children as well. I don't know what I will leave you materially, but I am going to work my tail off to leave you a good name. I don't want anybody to ever uh, shake their head, to ever tell a cautionary tale with my name attached to it. And so that's what I want you to think about today. What does your name mean? What legacy are you carving out with your name? What are people going to think about your name in the days ahead, in the years ahead, your children, your grandchildren, and perhaps even your great-grandchildren? Hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you again soon.